you know, musicians back here, certain people were just like, why are you doing that? Like, you, you're killing your whole thing. Like, dude, it's Japan. Like, you want to be big in Japan? You know what mm. I mean? Like, mm. like, you're in New York. This is where everything is happening. This, I mean, I love New York. No, no, <laughs> like, no shade on New York. But I was like, dude, I kind of like it. It's literally that simple. Mm -hmm. I like it. I, I enjoy it. I'm doing what I enjoy doing. It may sound weird to you, but you know that's what I. That's just what I, I just liked it. I had a passion for it, so I just went for it, man. I'm hearing you had like mixed support, right yeah. here. Um, I guess at the onset, and then mm -hmm. how did you build your fan base once you like really were showing up even more in Japan? I was very lucky to land that song with Exile, right? So mm -hmm. it's it was a result of that first song, really. That's what did it. So that song blew up. I don't know how much you guys know about what happened with it, but basically it instantly went to like number one on the charts out there. So I'm, I'm freaking out. I'm yes. just some dude, right? And I'm like, whoa, I have a number one hit. <laughs> and then the first week, I think we, I think we cracked like half a mil sales. Mm -hmm. And then wow. um, it wasn't too much longer after that, we hit a mil. Just side note, right? The music industry in Japan is like so different than America. If you sell a single here or something like that, it's like a dollar, right? Mm -hmm. uh, 99 cents. Well, actually, everybody's streaming now. Mm -hmm. It's Spotify right. and like Tidal and stuff. So you're not even doing that. Mm -hmm. But it, back then, a dollar, if you were like Jay-Z or Beyonce or something, you could probably do $2 for mm -hmm. a single. Ringtone sales. Yeah, right? <laughs> but out in Japan, that single sold for around $16. What? Oh, wow. American? I had no idea. What? So 16 American. So $16 US. Approximately. What? Come on. Come so on. So you do the math. 16 times a And million. your phone's blowing what? up. Your phone's blowing up. So it's Yo. It's <laughs> crazy. It's crazy. It's wow. crazy. So Yo. in America now, platinum is a million copies, right? Right. Yeah. So I was, I was reading online when the song came out. I was like, oh, multi-platinum. I was like, I didn't even go platinum yet. Where did they, I wasn't even at a mill. Why did kid? And I realized that platinum in Japan is two hundred and fifty thousand, oh, and I couldn't understand why. Okay. So I was like, "Oh, that's the reason why the price point." Because think about it: mm -hmm. if I put that out here, I would have to go more than diamond and a half, right, so in order that. to get the same revenue that you right. get from one mill. Yeah. You have to sell 16 mil here. Oh my you know God. what I mean? That and would then make you, I mean, stand, I, mean, <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, not for nothing. Yo, plus, it, you loved it? When it came, Yo, when it came easy to, math, son. When it, came, <laughs> when it came to, like, hip hop, when it came to, like, hip hop, yeah. and I, I, you know, I've had some friends who've toured, right, and the love you get and the amount of success you get independently mm -hmm. outside the U.S., yeah. less stress, more money. That's what they would tell me. Yeah. Not no stress. Mm. And this was for them it's, back then. It's mixed. It's mixed. Ah, yeah. Well, let us I, know. In, yeah, in, a, in a lot. What's the, what's listen, the, what's the, what's the, cause we, we see the good now. It's the good is good. Look like it's, Japan has yeah, been. Tell us the best. Listen, I can't say anything bad. They've been wonderful to me. Okay. I made lifelong friends there. It's been great. But you're talking about a money-making industry. And mm -hmm. When you have big numbers floating around like that, you big problems. Mm. You already know how it more is. More money, more problems. I, almost, I, I don't even know if I should. That's up to I you. I almost got... Loud. I almost got... We might bleep some stuff. Okay, if it's okay. crazy, we'll bleep it. We'll okay. make sure that I, it doesn't get you in kind of trouble with that. I, that. I basically got blackballed in Japan mm. at one point for all you intents too... and purposes. In my opinion, what sort of caused it was... How do I, how do I put this? Um... Oh, gosh. You got something. Good. You got your team. You got this great studio. You got you, all your people. And then, you know, maybe you get in a new intern or something comes starts working for you and has a lot of new ideas <laughs> and just starts changing stuff up. As soon as he comes, this starts changing that. But they're super talented and yeah. you really like what they're bringing to the table. But then you're like, why, you, why is he listening to this person? Why is, you know, it was that uh, kind of thing. Okay. I, I was the new guy. Yeah. I'm... Not Japanese. Right? Yeah. Beijing. That's what I am. That's what I was. I don't feel that way now. I feel like a brother now. But yeah. you know, that's what I you know, that's what it was. And there were people and powers that be that didn't have the relationship that maybe me and Atushi had and some certain people there. And if they only talked to me for two minutes, they would have realized that we would have been instantly drinking and having fun and being cool. But 
I don't know you. And then mm. every time you show up, maybe things change sometimes. And I think that caused, that rush, ruffled some feathers. Yeah. I did make a, a difference. Mm -hmm. Things changed when I showed up. That's what I do. You know, so. Um, Shout out to New York, because that's what we do. <laughs> that's just what we do right now. You know? It, it wasn't malicious, man. It was just me right. doing my thing. But, you know, I, I understand on that side how that can be read, too. But mm -hmm. so there was a time where that became a thing for me. And, you know, it was, you weren't, you know, really talking. There was nothing really happening for a good year. Ooh. But, um, you know, the conversation ended up being had between the people that needed to, you know, and it got patched up and they realized it was all nonsense and it was nothing at all. And so we, we became even tighter. And that's when everything blew up and got even crazy. <laughs>